Welcome to Inware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, we will demonstrate how to create a PA40 Personnel Actions New Hire Automation Script utilizing Process Runner's transaction technology. Here in this Excel spreadsheet is our data set for several new hires. Let's begin by opening up Process Runner Enterprise and double clicking New Transaction. In the transaction code box, let's enter PA40. Normally when recording transaction automation scripts with Process Runner, we leave this run and batch input mode and stop on commit box checked. But for this PA40 automation script, we need to deselect this. Now let's press start recording and log into SAP to begin the recording process. From this PA40 example script, the personnel number will be external. So let's enter a personnel number from our Excel spreadsheet, as well as a start date. And under action type, we will select hire. Now we will press execute. In the create action screens, we will enter reason for action, position, Personnel Area, Employee Group, and Employee Subgroup. Now we will click Save and advance to the Create Personal Data screen. Here let's enter the title, Last Name, First name, birth date, and language. And again, we'll click Save and advance to the Create Organizational Assignment screen. Here we do not need to enter any data, so we will just push Save and advance to the Create Address screen. Let's enter the house number and street, the city, province or district, and postal code. the country key and telephone code. Now we will click Save, and since we have no more data that needs to be uploaded, let's click Exit. And this will end our script recording process. Here in the Mapper ribbon of Process Runner, Let's link the recording that we just did to our external Excel file, which contains our data set. From the dropdown here, we will select Use External Excel File and designate our Excel file. Now we just need to make sure that each of our fields are mapped to the proper column in Excel. When we come to the postal code field, we can see that we need to change this to column P. Let's just do a drag and drop to change this. City should be changed to N, and district or province to O. The rest of our fields are fine. Let's go to the home ribbon now and set our start row at 3 since we have already entered the data from row 2 to SAP. This was done when we walked through the transaction manually one time to record the script. 
and let's set our end row to 16. Once we push the Run button, we will follow the prompts and save our automation script. We can save it anywhere to our hard drive or network. We can run the script in the SAP system of our choice by selecting the appropriate system and logging into SAP. Once our script finishes processing, let's go to our Excel file, and here we can see from the SAP messaging that we were able to successfully create these records in SAP. Let's bring up the record of the first person created by our Process Runner automation script. We will enter PA30 in our SAP GUI and just quickly view a few records. We have successfully created a PA40 Personnel Actions Transaction Automation script to create new hires in SAP. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to learn more about how to simplify SAP, please visit our website at inawera.com and be on the lookout for more videos in this series.